All right, what is going on YouTube and Airsofters? This is Josh with Armor Airsoft, a slightly different um, kind of approach to this video. Testing out my new GoPro and recording at 2K <coughs> instead of 1080p with my DSLR. Um, but I just wanted to make a quick video. Just got this bad boy in. Nice little T238. First brushless motor I've owned and we are going to be dropping it into the Mark 18. Um, so let's just do a quick little unboxing. I know there isn't too much to these, but there we go. Nice anodized case. No venting on these ones compared to something like the uh, Warheads, which have venting on the middle. And I believe they have like just kind of, um, I guess you'd say serrations um, to help with uh, heat ventilation as well. But overall, looks really nice, really well built. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I'll get this thing in the Mark 18, get it properly shimmed uh, to the pinion. And then I'll give a before and after um, comparison with uh, a standard, um, or I shouldn't say standard, I should say <coughs> I have a real deal, I guess like not the 2.0, but the 1.5 motor. Uh, it is a really, really high quality motor and definitely a good, um, a good start starting point from a baseline motor. Um, this is just the next step in the iteration going, going from a high quality brushed motor to now a full-fledged brushless motor. So I will see you guys in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing installed. Full auto. Here is the before uh, motor. This is a real deal, 28K 18 TPA, Golden Boy. Um, as you can see, it is very nice, very high quality. I really do, I really do like this. This is going into my other backup gun, uh, my 416, which has just a standard like Evike Monster Torque, like $30 garbage motor. Um, but if you are just using a stock motor, you want to upgrade um, and you can't find like say ASG motors or anything like that like these things are basically the same like I feel like these are a little bit better and they're I think five dollars cheaper these are they should be $69.99 the new 2.0s might be five dollars more like equal value or equal price point to the ASG but even something like the Paragon uh, motor um, they're they all are basically the same they all use the same casing they all use the the same um, like back like bottom ends um they're all basically the same it's just anodized differently um as as long as you, you know get the you know same tpa and rating you know all that stuff um but yeah so this is going to go into a spare gun i highly recommend these this thing has worked wonders extremely extremely reliable does not overheat very often unless it's under a ton of stress um but yeah so my first I guess initial thoughts mainly because I haven't played with the gun yet um, outdoors or anything like that. Um, super snappy. The T238 um, motor. Let's just get that back in the shot. The T238 um, is expensive. I believe, you know, basically every brushless motor is expensive currently. But, you know, you get what you pay for. My Mark 18 is a 13 to 1. Um, not short stroked or anything like that. So it's just a full eight, uh, 13 to one with the brushless motor. It sound with a Titan 11, one fully charged. It sounds like a DSG. Um, it goes Burt and it is quite insane. Um, I cannot believe how fast it is. It is a 39 K I think. So it's like a high speed, high torque, or it's, it's like a balance motor, I believe, but wow. I'm actually kind of scared of snapping my tappet plate, um, with how much power there is on the on full uh, on full auto but of course I won't be playing or using full auto really ever 
so yeah that's a quick over overview of the t238 um when i get more time with the actual aeg um, using it and whatnot i will go ahead and make a follow-up video to this and basically um you know saying seeing how it is long term um setup was super easy i actually didn't have to shim the shimming between the real deal and the t238 was practically identical which was nice it slid right in there was no issues um, I didn't even have to really adjust the uh, set screw on the bottom of the motor grip which was nice but that is of course mileage may vary uh, based on how your gun is set up what motor you're using so on and so forth so I got very lucky if you are using what you should be using a you know um, aftermarket like Titan uh, Perun um, Jeftron anything like that make sure you put it in brushless mode do not plug it in and just immediately start using it go into your settings and make sure that your brushless mode is active um, on mine i have been using a uh, i do use a gate titan so uh yeah we'll just see how it goes from here um thanks for stopping by and uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace